Having practiced DOE for over 25 years and taught it for over 20 at different companies, one of the things that I found is a very poorly understood topic is the concept of design resolution within design experiments. Simply put, all it means is balancing the information you need with the budget that you have available. A key term in all this, a key concept, is a term called aliasing, an alias structure. You need to know what that is to effectively pick uh, the proper design matrix for moving forward. If you don't know what aliasing is, you really should only be doing full factorials. And if you're only doing full factorials, you're probably only using typically three or four input variables, which misses the core power of the tools, which is the fractional factorials. There's three main resolutions that are relevant for us to discuss here briefly. Uh, the one of them is resolution three. This is a very dangerous approach. I would say it's very rarely uh, a proper uh, matrix type to be using. Uh, it depends on the problem, but there's rarely is there a case where it makes sense. They're very dangerous. There's a lot of assumptions being made. And oftentimes people use them without understanding uh, the assumptions and the impact of those assumptions. And the other extreme is the Resolution 5 designs. Resolution 5 designs are information quality in most cases, in a lot of cases, equivalent to a full factorial, but with a potential healthy budget savings. And if that's the case, they become a fairly popular one, at least to evaluate. Every uh, design has its pros and cons. And that leads us to the middle option, the one that we skipped, the Resolution 4, in between the 3s and 5s that we just talked about. Resolution 4 has some assumptions. They're not quite as, uh, as extreme of assumptions as the Resolution 3 has, but they still exist. And you really have to understand your project, your knowledge of the technology behind it, and how, how you can best balance uh, those assumptions with the budget. And with those three things in mind, you really can set, set yourself up for success with your, your test. If you're not familiar with what aliasing is and you want to know more, I encourage you to dig into it. Call us for help in setting up your test. Um, done well, you can, you can balance the pros and cons between information need and budget, plus the other constraints you have in your test. If you don't know what it is, you're flying blind, and there's, there's danger in, in uh, not getting what you really desire out of your test.